Hello YouTube friends, this is Tiago and in today's video I'm going to talk about the difference between quantitative variables and qualitative variables. Now the first thing that you need to know is that with stats the classification of variables depends on whether or not they can be written down as a number. Also in general Observations and measurements can be regarded as variables, and these variables are known as data. So, what are quantitative variables? Quantitative variables are associated with numerical observations. The observations of height are numerical, as you can give a number to them. This means that height is a quantitative variable. Another example of a quantitative variable would be the weight of a smartphone. In this image we can see buildings and their height would have to be considered a quantitative variable. Now what are qualitative variables? Variables that are associated with non-numerical observations are called qualitative variables. The colour of a t-shirt is not numerical, therefore it's a qualitative variable. Likewise, the colour of this Ferrari would have to be regarded as a qualitative variable. The brand name of this car, which is a Ferrari, is also a qualitative variable. With respect to quantitative variables, there are other things you need to know. The first thing is that quantitative variables can be measured on either continuous or discrete scales. A variable that can take up any value within a given range is called a continuous variable. Examples would be time, length and weight. Secondly, a variable that is restricted to taking up only specific values within a given range is called a discrete variable. Examples would be number of one pound coins in a bag or number of boys in a family. Now to get to grips with quantitative and qualitative data, the next time you're making an observation, question whether that observation is quantitative or qualitative. If it's quantitative, ask yourself this question. Is the measurement you're making continuous or discrete? In real life, there are many examples of quantitative and qualitative variables. All it takes is a little practice and attention to start categorizing your data correctly. If you want the article that I've written related to this video, please visit the link below this clip. For more mathematics videos, stay subscribed to my YouTube channel or subscribe to it if you haven't already done so. If you are interested in more mathematics proofs, visit mathematics.proofs on Instagram. Here I regularly post GCSE and A level mathematics proofs. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll talk to you again soon.